a video here showing you how to re repressurize an expansion vessel. That reading 1.9 bar, that is because I've knocked up the pressure out of the boiler. So what you read in there, because it's the actual boiler when I arrived, I'd had two bars of pressure and it was it was had too much pressure in anyway, but the expansion vessel is probably flat, and then the two bar pressure of water is just pushing against a flat expansion vessel. So I've, I've plugged my um, my reader onto it, and, and it's showing you 1.9, which is just ridiculous. It's probably zero. So as I take the pressure out of the boiler, as you can see, the actual expansion vessel pressure um, is going down. Um, as the pressure goes down in the boiler, the pressure in the expansion vessel goes down. Pretty much, in t pretty much together, to suggest that the expansion vessel was flat to start with. Yeah, as as the pressure goes down on the boiler, the pressure on the expansion vessel is going down. On this boiler, I decided not to isolate the boiler and take the pressure out from the drain valve. Uh, I just didn't want to mess about with the um, isolation valves just in case they started leaking. So I've, I've just, I am actually draining the system as a whole from a drain tap. Right, the expansion vessel now is going zero. As you saw before, the actual true reading of the expansion vessel was zero once I took the full pressure out of the boiler. I've just pumped it up to one bar. Again, the pressure on the boiler has gone up to one bar. Um, obviously, now it's dropping back down with the boiler as it's pushing more water out. We need the pressure on the boiler to be zero completely and then we can pump the pre the vessel up to the one bar. Right, I quickly changed the bucket as it, as it was going to overflow. <laughs> Start the drain valve again. As you can see, the, the boiler is nearly back to, is, is nearly zero now, and we've got 0.65. Right, up to one bar on the expansion vessel. And let's have a look at the boiler now on the pressure gauge, and we're showing zero, so that's perfect. We know we now know. And look, there's no water coming out. We now know that the expansion vessel is fully pressurized to one bar and the boiler is zero, which now, and then we'll go and fill that back up with the filling loop. 